Others may praise what they like, but I, from the banks of the running Missouri, praise nothing in art or aught else, till it has well inhaled the atmosphere of this river. Mm -hmm. Also the western prairie scent, and exudes it all again. Uh, happy birthday, Walt. And I think that is Walt Whitman, period. And that is our Gloucester, period. You cannot speak it until you exude it. I believe in you, my soul. In other, I am must not abase itself to you, and you must not be abased to the other. Loaf with me on the grass, loose the stop from your throat. Not words, not music or rhyme I want, not custom or lecture, not even the best, only the lull I like, the hum of your valved voice. I mind how once we lay such a transparent summer morning, how you settled your head athwart my hips and gently turned over upon me and parted the shirt from my bosom bone and plunged your tongue to my bare stripped heart and reached till you felt my beard and reached till you held my feet. Swiftly arose and spread around me the peace and knowledge that pass all the argument of the earth and I know that the hand of God is the promise of my own. And I know that the Spirit of God is the brother of my own. And that all men ever born are also my brothers. And the women my sisters and lovers. Mm -hmm. And that a kelson of the creation is love. And limitless are leaves, stiff or drooping in the fields. And brown ants in the little wells beneath them and mossy scabs of the worm fence, heaped stones, elder, mullen, and pokeweed. You know, and Whitman uh, spent time during the Civil War uh, serving as a nurse in hospitals, uh, just kind of sitting with wounded soldiers and often just you know, comforting them and I don't think he really did more than that and, and wrote letters home for them. Yeah. But he must have seen the battlefields as well. So this is called, <clears throat> a, so I have two poems, uh, A March in the Ranks Hard Pressed and the Road Unknown. A march in the ranks hard pressed and the road unknown, a route through a heavy wood with muffled steps in the darkness. Our army foiled with loss severe and a sullen remnant retreating. Till after midnight glimmer upon us the lights of a dim-lighted building. We come to an open space in the woods and halt by the dim-lighted building. Tis a large old church at the crossing roads, now an impromptu hospital. Entering but for a moment, I see a sight beyond all pictures and poems ever made. Shadows of deepest, darkest black, just lit by moving candles and lamps and by one great pitchy torch stationary with wild red flame and s clouds of smoke. By these crowds, groups of forms, vaguely I see on the floor, some in the pews laid down. At my feet, more distinctly, a soldier, a mere lad, in danger of bleeding to death, he is shot in the abdomen. I staunch the blood temporarily. The youngster's face is white as a lily. Then before I depart, I sweep my eyes o'er the scene, fain to absorb it all. Faces, varieties, postures beyond description. Most in obscurity, some of them dead. Surgeons operating, attendants holding lights. The smell of ether, odor of blood, the crowd. Oh, the crowd of bloody forms, the yard outside, also filled, some on the bare ground. Some on planks or stretchers, some in de the death spasm sweating. An occasional scream or cry, the doctors shouted orders or calls, the glistening of the little steel instruments catching the glint of the torches. These I resume as I chant, I see again the forms, I smell the odor, then hear outside the orders again, fall in my men, fall in. But first I bend to the dying lad, his eyes open, the half smile he gives me. 
Then the eyes closed, calmly closed, and I speed forth to the darkness, resuming, marching, ever in darkness, marching on in the ranks, the unknown road still marching. Mm. Yeah. Amazing poem. Mm. What's the name of that again? Uh, it's, it's the uh, a March in the Ranks Hard Pressed. Hard Pressed. I, uh, although I'm a poet, I, I, I was trained as a physicist and I teach, I teach mathematics. And I gave my students uh, a little challenge last week. Uh, it turns out that since uh, the war in Afghanistan started 18 years ago, the United States has spent uh, $5.3 trillion, an unfathomable number. So I said, well, can you, can you do, come up with some way of, of, of helping us comprehend the, the size of that, of that expenditure? And so they came up with two answers. Uh, one was that we spent and continue to spend $32 million every hour since 2001. And the other answer was that if every adult in the United States bought a $25,000 car, it would be the equivalent amount of money. <laughs> Why who makes much of a miracle? As to me, I know nothing else but miracles. Whether I walk the streets of Manhattan or dart my sight over the roofs of houses toward the sky or wade with naked feet along the beach just in the edge of the water or stand under trees in the woods or talk by day with anyone I love, or sleep in the bed at night with anyone I love, or sit at table at dinner with the rest, or look at strangers opposite me riding in the car, or watch honeybees busy around the hive of a summer forenoon, or animals feeding in the fields, or birds, or the wonderfulness of insects in the air, or the wonderfulness of the sundown, or of the stars shining so quiet and bright, or the exquisite, delicate, thin curve of the new moon in spring. These, with the rest, one and all, are to me miracles, the whole referring, yet each distinct and in its place. To me, every hour of the light and dark is a miracle. Every cubic inch of space is a miracle. Every square yard of the surface of the earth is spread with the same, Every foot of the interior swarms with the same. To me, the sea is a continual miracle. The fishes that swim, the rocks, the motion of the waves, the ships with men in them. What stranger miracles are there? So, so this was a miracle poem of, it feels like it was a, a kind of a gift. Uh, from a visit I made to the island of Dominica in the Caribbean. And um, it's called Generosity, a short litany before sleep. Praise the downtown street. Praise all the buses departing Rousseau, which have names, not numbers. Praise sweeties, gods in control, too much to mention, not mine, general love and pascur, my favorite, the Because Bus. <laughs> Praise for Carmen Watt and her licensed tavern, the menu on a hand-painted board. Praise the blood of island fruit and herbs, juice made of sorrel, soursop, cherry, barbadine, grapefruit, carambola, pineapple, orange, passion fruit, guava. Praise the light breeze that sweeps the coconut palm fronds. Praise the rain coming down heavier dousing the smoky fires. Praise that someone who is humming. Praise then the whole forest humming too. Oh. Mm. You've read with me. <laughs>